Professor Klein here bringing you a video on the 12 cranial nerves and the world's best cranial nerve mnemonic in my opinion. I think this is a great, great mnemonic for you. So I'm going to be using the whiteboard today and walking you through all 12 cranial nerves and this mnemonic. I'm going to start with the cranial nerves and an update on the Roman numerals. If you already know these, skip ahead about halfway through this video to watch the actual mnemonic but i'm going to start with the cranial nerves themselves so i got all 12 roman numerals right here and i love roman numerals but most students don't because they'd rather use numerical numbers me too but that's just how we communicate cranial nerves is with roman numerals so if you don't know all 12 Bam! Here is a picture of all 12 Roman numerals and the corresponding number as well. So study that and once you've got those 12 down, let's go through the different nerves. Starting with number one, and I'm not going to tell you a ton about the function or how to do the test. I've got other videos for that. This video is just for the mnemonic. Number one is the olfactory nerve olfactory nerve here so let's spell it out it's popping up on your screen for you that's number one that is the sense of smell that's all i'll tell you about it but that's number one number two optic optic deals with your vision peripheral vision all that kind of stuff optic three is ocular motor oculomotor is number three four trochlear sometimes people say trochlear that's fine too either one works trochlear number five is trigeminal trigeminal right here tri means three like a tricycle this one actually has one two three different divisions so remember this word try because that's going to come into play later what's number six number six is abducens abducens right here abducens can also be called abducent so i'm putting both words up on the screen for you abducens or abducent how about number seven number seven is facial facial right here facial eight vestibulo cochlear vestibulo cochlear three four and six do the movements of the eye Trigeminal is sensory of the face and muscles of mastication. Seven is facial expression muscles and the anterior two thirds of the tongue for taste, vestibular cochlear, ears, hearing, and balance. Again, just a quick overview. Number nine, we're talking about glosso, ferrin, geal, glosso, ferrin, geal. So, Lots of words. Glosso means tongue. Pharynx means like your throat. So this one's going to deal with the throat and the tongue. Ten. Love this one. This is vagus. V-A-G-U-S. Vagus here. Just like Las Vegas. Eleven is accessory. And I'll write it in right here. Accessory. And last one is hypo glossal accessory is your trapezius and your sternocleidomastoid hypoglossal glossal is tongue so hypo is the muscles underneath the tongue that move your tongue around so those are some quick functions again more videos on my channel here for how to do it and the functions but let's get to the mnemonic already what is the mnemonic here's the mnemonic I say from 1 to 12, 
only once one takes the anatomy final very good vacations are here had to make it anatomy related i love anatomy and i also love vacations but you can't vacation in the middle of a semester so after the anatomy final is when we go on some awesome vacations but let me break this down because don't stop watching yet the mnemonic has a lot of stuff within it that help for each one for example olfactory only is the first word so i read only in here for you the word only has an o an l and a y olfactory has an O, an L, and a Y. Three letters that are the same between the word only and the word olfactory. That's number one and we're just getting started. Next, optic. Only once. Once has an O and a C. Optic has an O and a C as well two letters that are the same again it's not just the first letter it's definitely the first letter but there's typically more to it than that ocular motor only once one o o trochlear let me get rid of this here only once one takes takes for trochlear and here's where it gets crazy again trigeminal is three right tri tricycle three only once one one two three the word one has <laughs> trigeminal relates to the so only once one takes the anatomy file so Trigeminal three, the word the has three letters in it to help you remember that trigeminal cranial nerve five has three different divisions. Abducens corresponds to anatomy. Facial, I love this one, facial here. Fa facial refers to final, the anatomy final, right? Get this. F, I, A, L. F, I, A, L is in final. F, I, A, L is in facial. Four letters that are the same between final and facial. You can't beat that. But we will with the next one. Because the next one is very and very let me give you the final ones here it goes very good good vacations for vegas are here now number eight and number ten are most commonly confused they're both v they're both in the middle which one's which well if you use this mnemonic the word very starts with a V-E. The word vestibular cochlear starts with a V-E. That's cranial nerve number eight. Jump to number 10 though. 10 respond, corresponds to vacations. Starts with a V-A. Vegas starts with a V-A. Where do you vacation? Vegas. I've never been, but tons and millions of people vacation in Vegas. And that is how I remember number 10, Vegas. And guess what? They're coming back and they're going on to, they're going on to Yelp and they're reviewing their trip to Vegas as a 10 out of 10. They loved it. They had a great time. People love Vegas and that's cranial number, number 10. Jump back to nine. Nine is good, G-O-O. -O. Glossopharyngeal, G, 
oh, oh. Nine, remember goo. Goo, G-O-O -O for good, G-O-O -O for glossopharyngeal. What do we say? It's the tongue and the throat. You typically have a lot of goo or mucus in the back of your throat, right? Phlegm, ah, lots of stuff built up. Good goo for number nine. Not done yet because R here, R refers to A-R-E accessory, A-R-E. You just can't make this stuff up because it is exactly the word R is within the word accessory. Jumbled up a little bit, but still in there. Last one is hypoglossal, here, H, H said hypo refers to underneath the tongue, glossal is tongue, movement of the tongue. To recap, one through 12, only, once, one, takes the anatomy final, very good vacations are here. Use this mnemonic, use the things within the mnemonic to help you learn the cranial nerves. And if you like this video, like it, please like it. I'm trying to get a ton of likes so that this video can be spread to a ton of anatomy students and learn for free. It is my goal to teach you all for absolutely free, no charge whatsoever. Comment down below any other topics you wanna learn. I will do videos on any topic you guys wanna do and get that out there. So like and comment and subscribe to my channel for more anatomy videos. Thanks for watching.